So, what's up everybody? Christopher Leon Johnson here, and uh, we're at City Hall. And uh, I just saw the news. I'm here to break the news. I know it's gonna be later on that um, Eddie Caban is resigning Thursday, today. He's resigning today. So, I'm happy about this. It's almost 12 o'clock, it's almost as press conference. My phone has about 36 minutes on my phone. So I can only get 30 minutes on this phone, guys. But I'm happy that um, he's gone. You know, fuck Eddie Caban 2024. Fuck Eddie Caban, nigga. Happy that it's over, happy that he's done. Little, little clown. Happy that he's done. You know what I mean? It's a great day, America. Eddie Caban is leaving the commissioner spot for the NYPD. Fuck Eddie Caban, man. He was a dirty crook. He was crooked. He was corrupt. He was a corrupt person. And he was a crooked, crooked ass commissioner. <laughs> Everybody's happy. I'm happy. Shout out to March Velasquez for coming out and supporting the bill. She didn't have to. She introduced the bill last, last time. You know, like I said, anytime bill. Bye, Marjorie. Bye, Marge. Shout out to Marjorie Velasquez. She introduced the bill for this, the gun bill. Like I said, anytime bill don't get passed, you got to reintroduce the bill. It dies. It dies on default. So she it, she came back out. She had to come back out. She had to come back out. And by the way, let me get that. That's what the clean air bill, right? That's what I like the back. I like the last part. Oh, yeah. How they oppress speech and shit. That's disgusting. That's right. That's and they right. suing the shit out. They suing, they suing um, Gennaro because of it. Gennaro's getting sued. He put the city council on the law. So. He, yeah, he's going to, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so. So, you know, you used to salam over there. Public safety. I know when everybody started getting the news, people could be happy as hell. So, I'm happy that, like I said, I'm happy that he resigned. He's leaving. He was a joke. The, one of the biggest jokes in the NYPD. Make that sure. Make that clear. Eddie Caban is out. So like I said, yeah, like I said about this, but I will say before, um, it's almost 12 o'clock, it's almost 12. Um, this bill here, like I said, this right here, like this is a shit that Eddie Caban was part of. Uh, He's been doing for almost like over his time in NYPD, allowing these officers to, like I said, they do this in the, in the MTA meetings, but they do this here too, where they weaponize, like, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love it. I'm gonna get out of here. All right. No, no you are. Yeah. yeah. What are you saying? Um, get it as soon as possible. Like, they own it. They, yeah, they own it. They want it right where. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they want it right where. I gotta guess my boy. Shout out to NYPD. I support. I back the blue. I back the blue, but um, I back the blue. But like I said, they it's some of them they be doing that shit. Not all, of them, not him, but not all, of them, not him here, but like in the uh. Fucking um, um, like MTA meetings, they be oppressing the shit out of speeches, bro. Like you say anything MTA don't like, they want to say, oh, you're out of order, you're out of, you're out of order, and shit like that. And they want to, they, you're out of order, you're out of order, and they ready to like yoke you out. They're just like literally like yoke your ass out. So like I said, um, they out here lobbying today. The New York, the New York Clean Air Collective. Um, I have another paper. I'm gonna get another one. The New York Air Clean Air Collective. So, um, the DEP is basically the Department of Environmental Protection. So basically, they oversee in what they oversee the air, they oversee the air quality, they oversee the, the your favorite NYC water. So you drink water, they oversee that. They got it, they do a lot of things. They oversee the air, like what we breathe. Uh, they oversee that. They oversee the environment. They oversee uh, the quality, air quality, and they oversee water. Now, uh, <clears throat> one thing in New York City that if you're into like. Um, you're trying to make money in the city, quick money, this thing called idling. Now, idling is basically when you keep your engine on for, for a certain amount of time. You keep your engine on without using it. They call it idling. The law in New York City is where the law is if you idle for three minutes, you get a ticket. It's a penalty for the first offense. It increases for every offense. It increases for every other offense. Every other offense. Every other offense. But after the fact, like, it, it, I mean, but the thing is, for every... Like if you want to make money, this is a, this is a tip for anybody out here. This is like to get a lot of controversy, a lot of a lot of a lot of controversy, guys. But every uh, if you were going somewhere, let's say like it's not here, they don't do that. Let's say you go on the street. See that white car there? 
let's say that white car idles, right? It, it stays with the engine on the way using it, they're not using it. Now, you gotta be in front of that thing and, and record it for three minutes, and it gotta be three minutes nonstop. Now, once you submit it to the city of New York, to the, the DEP, they'll decide if that's a penalty. Now that comes, that get a penalty, you get a percentage of the fee. You get a percentage of the fine, of the, you get a percentage of the, the fine. The person that made that sent the video get a percentage of the complaint, they get a percentage of the fine. Now this becomes a big issue because like I said, like uh, it, could, it could put a lot of people in danger. You never know who video, you never know who you're fucking with. Um, and that could put you in danger. It could put you in big danger, put you in big danger. It could put you in big danger. In big danger. So, um, going forward, uh, so that's a that's a big tip. You gotta be careful. You can make money, but it's a risk. Always a risk. You never know who working the DEP. You never know who's sending out information, and that could put you in danger. So shout out to Eric Bach putting that, but he's leaving. Uh, the Black BLA Caucus is having a bill, uh, introducing their bills, uh, trying to get it like the slavery and shit like that. Slavery and shit. Uh, let me get my opinion, right? This, I mean, my personal capacity today. Uh, I had to get my press back tomorrow. Uh, my press back tomorrow, coming to Roses over there. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. Is that these bills is nothing but some bullshit. This is nothing but some woke shit. This is nothing but some racist ass bills. These are some racist bills that the city council is pushing um, under the under the guise of so, racial racial and social justice. It's complete bullshit. And the one of the main organizations pushing is the NAACP, which everybody know. I'm, I'm, I tell you, I tell people about the NAACP and the NAN. Uh, these two organizations are nothing but um, uh, backstepping organizations, backstepping organizations that uh, backstepping organizations that they they stand on be they they go on the backs of other people, they own people's uh, backs and shit like that to get to the to climb the social ladder. It's a lot of dirty shit that's happening here. Uh, they like I said, they they will sell you out to get to the social ladder. What's up, Jacko? What's up, Jacko? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jack? You lobby today? <laughs> you lobby? Jackson. You're lobbying today. You're lobbying today. Same to you. Lobbying today? Did you get a good paperwork? Yeah. What do you think of it? It's it's good. Yeah, I know. It's good. The the back of it is like crazy. The last section of it is ridiculous. How they oppress speech. Uh, Jim Gennaro is getting sued because of it. Not a fan of Gennaro. He. Gennaro is yeah. Gennaro is the reason the city council in the lawsuit. That day, I think it was in March, when he completely. Yeah, it's, in, it's in an appeal mode right now, so it's going up to high courts. So what, they, they law, they, the, the plaintiff's law? It was mixed at the lower level, so it's, we need some clarification. Yeah, but Jim, James is ridiculous. Like, he, he's known for that. Because he gets he get paid all by these, these, these people that's pushing the bills. It's like pay to play. That's, that's in the lawsuit. It's pay to play. Yep. Play, pay to play, and then anybody that go get a speech, you want to put out security to get you, pull you out. Literally, like, drag you out of City Hall. They would drag you out of City Hall. That happened on that. They do whatever all the time, but they that happened that day with the, the lawsuit. I know. I saw the video. My people were uh, Jim. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, Raul Rivera was there. Alex Stano, he's a comedian. And he still um, has the right Jim, to make his jokes and mm -hmm. make his satire. Yeah, and they, they didn't even air it. They didn't, they they just edited it out. And his uh, his opponent in the election got dragged out. Yeah. Got dragged out. And Raul, they got dragged out. So it was like they know they they do this. They do a lot of they do a lot of meetings like. Um, they do it a lot of me. They might do the, they, they do a lot of, today. I think you saw the auto people outside with the with the green. That's the, that's for the hotel bills, like a, some safety hotel bill. So I, I think she might do that with them, like start dragging all auto, auto people out. But so it's good that you guys are you're fighting this because like if they if, if they allow this to keep on happening, like it, it, we can't even speak. The, uh, New York Civil Liberties Union is coming out against it. Um, other groups. Yeah, it's crazy. And they want to limit time and shit. It's ridiculous. If you get two minutes, they want to cut you over at 30 seconds because you're against the bill. Come on, like, how's out of topic when you're against a bill? Like, it's just ridiculous. They just, just about, they just came out with pressing speech. Make push it, make sure that dead their agenda go through. Like there was a there was a hearing where um like there was a hearing like for land use. Uh, it was like last year, uh, where Kevin Riley, he's part of the land use committee. Um, there was a development that a lot of Hasidic Jews that was against. A lot of Hasidic Jews were against. And Kevin knew this. A lot of Hasidic Jews were against a certain development in their district that was going to hurt their hurt their, hurt their area. And he told the city council, like, don't even air the speech. You can't even find a recording of the, you can't even find a, a, a record of the speech of the hearing. Don't even air the hearing. That's Kevin Wright. He didn't even air it. He didn't even air the hearing. So it's like, we all know they're doing Like, they... They know, like, all right, this is going to be that bad. We're going to, we got to mute it. We got to mute the audio. We got to mute the speeches and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous.
It's crazy. Yeah. What's up, Anna? Hey, Anna. Hey, what's up? I'm mean, doing good. Oh, and I'm Amazon. But yeah, so, uh, so yeah, it just like, it, and it's the one thing that I, I totally agree with. This is, this is getting, this is getting crazy. So like I said, this is her bill. Uh, like I said, it, it's just some bullshit that they doing. This bill is the city count like uh, Farrah Lewis is trying to do. Like, uh, and, and I'll make this clear. I respect Farrah Lewis. I respect everything she does. I, I fuck her up, but I, I, I have a big feeling that, I have a big feeling that, I have a big feeling that, um, a big feeling that, big feeling that uh, she's um, she's getting threatened and getting told by the speaker, it's like, yo, you got to introduce the bill because you got to introduce the bill to the city council, like this bill right here. You got to introduce these one of the this is her bill. I'm, I, I got a, I got, I only have a few minutes left on my phone, so you got to introduce this bill, um, uh, intro two two seventy nine. Because you know that nobody's gonna go against you, and everybody's scared of you. Um, a lot of people they don't want to piss off Lewis because uh, Lewis is Lewis. I'm not trying to be like it. Just I, I respect Lewis, but a lot of people know it's like her, her and Williams. A lot of people don't want to cross, so they knew who the bills to because a lot of people not gonna cross her. Uh, so let's make that clear. Um, it just it's just a lot of politics behind politics, guys. This is facts. So let's make that clear. So I think, a lot, I think a lot of people, they, they don't want to cross Lewis um, and they don't want to cross um, Natasha Williams and Farrah Lewis, they don't want to cross those two. So what they do in the city council is like, so yeah, hotel train is still outside. The hotel train is still here. Like I said, they're trying to, But they hear this this morning. Everybody, I think a lot. It, it's stated Thursday, so don't be surprised. There's a lot of lobbying and stuff. So I say, like I said, I, I respect Fair, but I know I have, a, I have a big feeling what they were trying to do is like what they do is if they know they can't get this one person, this one member, a certain bill because it could be controversial, or they know like people might come out there, curse them out, and rally against them and intimidate them. And I don't, I don't believe intimidating council members. I don't do that. But there's people that do. They will go, they will go their way or try to threaten them or call them every disparaging word in the book. Then what they do is they will find a council member that they know that nobody's going to go against and nobody's going to call out uh, because they know that they might get they might get jumped, they might get they might get stomped the fuck out by they by their people, uh, by their people. Um, they let them hand, they let them pass introduce the bill, so I I know what they was doing. So, um, like I said, God. Just, uh, Oh, there you go right there, Jim Gennaro. Yeah, Cabana's out. Yeah, we heard it. Yeah, I said that in my third video. He's out. He's leaving, yo. I'm not surprised. Like, the dude is garbage, yo. Oh, uh, Jim Gennaro. Jim Gennaro. Look at this guy. That's our council member. That's the council member himself. You saw what that bill he's trying to put, he's trying to do, right? What the, the press free speech and shit. Where, where would Cabana? Yeah. Oh yeah, Cabana's out. Cabana's out. Yeah, I forgot he's out. So I'm in my personal capacity, so I don't give a shit. So just whatever. Um, I'm in my personal capacity. I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah, he's out. Like, fuck that guy. Yeah, it's just yeah, over there is the uh, hotel trades. All this shit like that. <laughs> yeah, Caban is out the door. Which is great because now they got to get an interim uh, commissioner. And I believe everybody's mad about a lot of, a lot of these bootlickers are mad. All these uh, cocksuckers that love, that was kissing his ass. They're mad about that. They're mad because... Uh, like shout out to John McCarry, John D. McCarry, shout out to Eric Dim, shout out to um, Sal Greco uh, for calling that guy out for years. They've been calling that guy for years. Um, we can't commissioner 
that's when the pressure really came in for this guy to go, even when he swore his hand. Because uh, even when he swore his hand, because uh, even when he swore his hand, because uh, when he swore his hand, because um, the guy was dirty. The guy was really, cor the guy was really, really corrupt. Really, really corrupt. Really corrupt. So, really corrupt. Really corrupt. Really, really corrupt, guys. Um, what I'm gonna do? I got, I got, I got 20 minutes left on this video, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to talk to these hotel trace people and ask. I'm gonna get some pizza, see if I can get a slice. I'm fucking hungry. Uh, but um, like I said, I, I gave my opinion about this bill. This is bullshit. I gotta go. I'm out of here because uh. I don't want to be sick. I'm a, I'm a, I don't want to be here because these people, it's already live stream shit like that and there's no point. So, I, like I said, this bill is bullshit. Another bullshit bill. And I'm out of here. So, I'm going to go home. Take care. I'm leaving. So, we get, I got to go. We get, so, they can't say I did anything to anybody. A lot of gas guzzling in cars. But there's one thing, like I said, they're right about. They, they're totally correct about. Um, Totally correct about. So... So let's make that clear. KYL1290. KYL1290. Alright, good. So KYL1290. So I'm leaving now. Take care, brother. Oh, I am not man? going back, man. I'm going home. No, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going over there. He's leaving. He, I think he's at work. No. It's not here. Alright, thank you. Yeah, no more fossil fuels. No more fossil fuels 2024, man. No more fossil fuels. Yeah, well, I was not here. I don't know where that nigga at. <laughs> but I'm going, I'm, I'm about to get out. My phone's at like 20 minutes. I want to get some food. And plus, I'm going to talk to these people about it if I get a chance, right? So this morning, I was here for the other rally. I was here for another rally. Uh, this would have for the hotel trades. Um, oh, say no to intro 991. I got to I gotta get out. I don't want to say for that bullshit that city council's here holding shit. Like I said, it's nothing but some racist, um, um, racist bills that they push it for social justice. It's bullshit. Complete bullshit. So I got, I got, I got, better, I got better, I got bigger fish to fry. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck that. Um. So I got 20 minutes left on my phone. I was always talking to people like, yo. Um, Like I said, yeah, I mean, just uh, like I said, uh, the the speaker, the speaker's coming out for this shit, you know, uh, it's just whatever. I'm good with that. That's okay. The union's here. A lot of pizza. What's up, man? You want some pizza? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of. Huh? I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. I'm here to see how what it's about. I was here this morning, so there's no point. Okay. I was here this morning and I was over there and I'm out here. Yeah, pizza. See if I get a slice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because then do you work? I used to work for Third Region. I do independent media. I do freelance. But I'm not today my, my personal capacity. So say my personal capacity. No, no, no. We have a simple conversation. One second. Yeah. Yeah, we have a civil conversation here. Civil, civil conversation. A civil conversation, and that's the that's the point, right? But like I said, like uh, like I said, like these are rank and file members that, like I said, some good people. Um, they, I, I believe, like I said, they trying to do the right thing. Um, our side trying to do the right thing. Everybody trying to do the right thing here. But I, I used to be a member of Church BJ, and like I said, guys, like what happens is what happens is. Um, it's past seven o'clock. I'm not going back over there. That's some bullshit. What happens is, is uh, what happens is, uh, I'm a, let's say you're a member of a union, right? And you do political work for them. They post this is political activity. They don't want to say this is political activity. You get a leverage when it comes to like getting your grievances uh, spoke against. 
And it's like I said, they have a council here. I'm not, I'm not, they have a council here, but I'm not going to cover that. Like I said in my other video, that's some, it's a bullshit racist ass bill. A bullshit racist ass bill that, um, bullshit racist ass bill that, uh, they try to push for social justice. And I'm a black man, I say that's a racist ass bill. It's a real, ra they try to push for racist bills that's, that's not going to benefit anybody, but they're, all, but it's bullshit. And I'm black. I'm, I don't believe in black supremacy. I don't believe on that bull. I believe that everybody, we're all human beings. At the end of the day. Like here today, I'm against the bill, but I am not a, I'm a human being. I am a human being. Right? We all human beings here. Right? We all live and die. Right? We all go to heaven and we all go to hell. So, why is everybody be divided? I don't believe in division. I believe in unity. So like I said, Caban's retired. Hey, he heard the news. Caban is resigning from the city council. I mean, uh, not typically. I mean, um, from commissioner, which is good because Commissioner Caban was really corrupt, really, really corrupt guy. Okay, okay, you know, really, 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 really corrupt as a commissioner. I met the guy in person, and I and I knew my my own feeling that there was something not right about Eddie Caban. Nothing, something not right. And it all went to fruition. That the guy was dirty. His brother was, um, his brother, um, James, who got fired from my PD for, um, only if he detained somebody for his wife. Um, he got kicked out of my PD for, now he's under investigation by the FBI for uh, kickbacks and, and extortion and falsified business records. And he get, it's just a lot of dirty shit that's going on. And Eddie got caught in that, but I said, like, yo, because Eddie's commissioner, and the way, like I said, God told me about, about, about this bill, I said earlier about intimidation, that they do police intimidation is where when you have cops around you, they be intimidating the shit out of the, they use the, they use the, the, the detail to weaponize the, the community affairs officers of certain these dirty blue and whites, the uniforms, to intimidate anybody that caught, this, caught off these fucking bozos. And what they do is they threaten them. They're like, yo, if you don't do this, we're going to, if you don't do this, uh, you better shut up about this. We go like with disorderly conduct. And Eddie was behind that. This has been going on for years. But when it came to the, like, on the, this, this Adams administration, guys, this when everything went to shit. Everything went, everything went left. Everything went left. With Eddie Caban, like, when, it, when Adams swore his hand, that's when everything got out. Everything got out. When it came to like, uh, when it came to, um, when it came to like, uh, weaponizing the NYPD to uh, oppress people's heckling them, that's what all shit came out. Eric, Eric Adams was like made, um, fucking, uh, what's his stinking, what's stupid name? Uh, Phil Banks the third, Phil Banks the third to weaponize, weaponize, um, weaponize the NYPD to uh, like threaten people that heckle the mayor. With disorderly conduct. And like I said before, is that when under Eric Adams, when you get arrested by Eric Adams people, they like to do is they'll send to the court and they'll get these the corrupt public defenders to make you plead to a crime you didn't commit. Because it's all political. It's all political, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Over there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll get a say. Huh? You need some water? Yeah. Okay, let me give you water. Take this. Thank you. You can call it, you know. Yeah, well, let thank you. Water. Yeah, thank you. And I need a plate, but I'll get another one. I'm hungry. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Don't want to touch your hand. Thank you. So, yeah, like I said, guys, I got pizza. I'm hungry, so. Hungry as a motherfucker. It's nice, Joe Pizza. So, like I said, uh, they use the NYPD to oppress people's freedom of speech. And they threaten, like, yo, if you don't shut up about this, we're going to lock you up. Thank you, You saved that information, but it'll help you. Oh, yeah. So,
So yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said before, like I said, they be, they be weaponizing NYPD to like oppress freedom of speech. And you see this shit online, they try to intimidate, intimidate um, critics of like the top brass, like Daughtry, Chell, um, Madry, and uh, what's his name, Terry Shepard. They try to weaponize, they try to weaponize, weaponize, flat out weaponize the NYPD to oppress freedom of speech. It's fucking crazy. So, so yeah. We have a Bill Bear with Jumani. NWCP, Lakey Wrestler, all these uh, like like I said, they 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 weapon they they trying to push bills that's not gonna benefit black people at all. And I'm black. You got plates here? They got plates or what? They got plates? Uh, yeah, never. Thank you. Of course, we're here for you. Yeah. Thank you. What do you want? I used to, I do media. I do. I, I, I used to be a member of WWE. I do a shop steward. Okay. So security used to be hot with part of it, but they took it out. So okay. I get it. I mean, so I understand. You support the it the, how you look at it? Because I used to be. I worked for contract security. And the problem yeah. is, like, let's make them like, like in house security, like yeah. or in house build. Yeah. It's like, go on here means at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might be better off with the union. Then. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Of course. So you should support the bill. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. But thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Like I said, we all human beings here. We all human beings, and that's what matters the most. A little hungry, but we all human beings at the end of the day. So, like I said, guys, like, I said what I said. I mean, I don't want to heckle it, because, like, if I do, then everybody's looking at my ass, and it's like, I was already, it's just not worth it. So, I, I made my opinion. I got some pizza. I made my opinion. Uh, this is a racist bill. A dirty, disgusting bill that they try to push the city council. Um, really dirty bill they try to put in the city council. Like I said, uh, like I said, I was here earlier for the because they try to push a bill for the city and uh, hotel trades when it comes to um, when it comes to basically it's uh, about uh, about uh, hotel safety. So basically, what they're trying to do is make it make it where like every mostly every position in the u in the hotels, like even let's say the luxury hotels, become union late become um, union labor. Now, like I said, it's going to really hurt the industry because um, some of these people, they've been blacklisted by the industry because they was cause dirty politics. I said a lot of dirty politics. And two, the bills of these, when you put union labor, don't get me wrong, these guys make more money. They'll make more money, with, uh, but the thing is, everything, the rates going to go up. Rates go up. You pay $100 a night, you're paying $450 a night. Because they got paid for all that labor. No, but so it just that's a thing that a lot of people don't understand like you have to pay it, it it's like you charge a, you pay more money you gotta charge more money that's the truth about business because you know the bosses gotta eat too just to make that clear so um i'm here to show my i was here to show my opposition this morning like i said it's something i'm hungry fuck so okay I'm not here to disrespect them because they all, like I said, these ranking five members, they just, they just doing what they think about their bosses. Like, like I told me about the early video, I said, look, the way it works is you're, you're a member, like with a blue shirt like that, you're a member, work at a hotel, work at a casino because they oversee casinos too in the city. Um, the casino, like uh, Resorts World in Queens, Rockaway Park. And what happens is they get told, like, look, you help us out with political activity, we'll scratch your back later on. So you need any help trying to get your day off or vacation day. And the boss don't want to give it to you, call us, and we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. So that's what goes on. That's how politics, that's how union shit works, how union stuff works. Unions are, could be really corrupt. I'm not trying to say all of them, but it's the leadership. It's really the leadership that's really crooked. They play that game like, yeah, um, it's only benefit the bosses. It doesn't benefit the breaking files. Uh, breaking file might see a little bit, bit, a little increase, but come on, is it really worth it? No.
So they have a they have a rally over there, like a press conference over there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, day. The racist bill. Real racist bill. And they know what they're doing. So I'm about to be, I'm about to go. Of water. So yeah, you know today, guys. I make it nice on the wall. So yeah, you know they got these bills here, right? So, so say, kill the bill, kill the bill. We got two minutes left. All right. My phone's at thirty six eighteen, so I gotta be thirty six eighteen. So, and by the way, Caban's resigning today. I think it's today. So, which is beautiful, which is good because the guy was dirty. The guy was not right. And I been said that he wasn't right. It was something about him that was not right about him. It was not right about him. He was like the sturdiest fuck. Real corrupt. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Of course we're a climate emergency. That's why that shit with Brad got crashed. <laughs> Brad, Brad, that guy is fucking ass own, bro. Facts. By those pop, pop it over, pop it over climate, pop it over climate. And... I'm gonna make this clip. I bounce out. I gotta go on the train. I gotta go home. But yeah. people got people. People could get mad. I would want about that shit. But they did the right thing. Brad, he didn't call, every rally he has, every press conference, he need to be called out for his bullshit. He need to be called out. He need to be called out. He need to get called out for his bullshit, and that's it. Just like how shout out to John McCarry and Eric Dim and um, Eric Dim and uh, what's his name, to Sal Greco for calling out uh, Caban, everything he did in the administration. That's how you gotta do. You gotta call their asses out. Because you don't, 
these people feel like they can do what they want. And especially to help with NYPD detail, they'll try to oppress you, oppress your freedom of speech and threaten you to arrest. And sometimes arrest you, arrest you, go act on the threat. And the DAs are scared. So I'm about to get out of here. Take care, guys. Happy Thursday. Happy State Day. Take care. Later.